Hi, I'm Stephen Durham with the JCPS Digital Innovation Team. And today is Tech Tip Tuesday, and I'm going to share with you how to update your Chromebook and, if needed, how to power wash the Chromebook. Uh, now, remember, a Chromebook is basically a device that helps you get to Google, and everything that you create is then saved in the Google Cloud. So you're not actually saving anything on the device itself. So if you're having issues with it, there is no problem with power washing, which basically kind of resets it to how it was when you got it brand new. So if anything is messed up uh, in the internal systems or the settings, it'll reset it to its uh, original, like it was just out of the box. And then you sign into Google and can still access all your data. The great thing about power washing is it can be done by anyone, anywhere. You can do it if you're at school, you can do it if, if you're at home. All you have to do is be able to connect, connect to the network uh, so they can authenticate it. But a student can do it. Uh, a younger student can do it with adult help. Uh, anybody that has a Chromebook and parent can do it. Any family member, teachers can do it with their JCPS Chromebooks as well. So if you're having issues, if your Chromebook is just not running right or you think it can run better, you can always check for an update. And then if you want, power wash that Chromebook. Here's the directions for power washing. They will be uh, attached to the YouTube video. They'll be in the resources, so you can check that out. One of the first things it asks for is what version of OS your Chromebook is running. OS is the operating system. So are you running an older Chrome OS, version 81 and previous, or a newer version? And depending on that, tells us which directions to follow. Well, let's go ahead and find out what version of OS we're running. So you wanna be signed in, powered on, and connected to Wi-Fi. We'll click on the clock. And then we're going to go to settings, which is this gear right here. And then I'm going to look for about Chrome OS. And this is about our Chrome operating system. So I'm going to click that. And then it says I am version 86. And actually, you can see it's updating my device. Um, earlier, you can click right here is a blue button. I wish I would have showed you, uh, saved it for that. But right here is a blue button and you can check for updates. So that's where you want to click if you want to update your device. And as you can see, I'm updating uh, to make sure I have the most up-to-date version of Google Chrome. So that'll get me all the Google features that have been included. So that's how to update. Come to About Chrome OS, look for the blue button, check for updates, and then it will update your device if needed. So let's go back to those directions. So I have version 86, so I'm going to do the newer settings. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is sign out of the Chromebook. To do that, you're gonna come over here and just click sign out. And then we're gonna press and hold control alt shift plus R. So if uh, you're not used to doing all those, you know, whole button presses, I like to go ahead and hold down control shift Alt, all at the same time, and then when I'm ready with my other hand, I press and hold down the R. Then it's going to say, uh, it's going to give you the option to restart. You're going to select restart, and in the box that appears, it's going to say select power wash and continue. So you select power wash, continue. It doesn't take that long, like five minutes tops. And then it's going to ask you to, if, if it does, it'll ask you to enroll the Chromebook. What this means is just sign in with your Google account. So if it's a personal Chromebook and you have your personal Google account, do that. If it's a JCPS device or a student device, you want to use that JCPS email and password. That is your JCPS Google account that will enroll it back in the JCPS domain. So just follow those. So after you check what version you have, make sure you're updated and then go ahead and you can power wash. And when the power wash, it does put on the latest version of Chrome OS. So hopefully that will help you out with updating your Chrome if needed uh, and also your Chrome OS if needed and also power washing if needed. And again, there's nothing wrong with power washing. You shouldn't lose any data. All your data is saved in the cloud. So hopefully this tech tip has been helpful and we'll be back with more. You can always check out the Tech Tip Tuesday playlist on the JCPS Digital Learning Channel. Thank you. Take care.